I'm going to look it up. I'm going to write it below. <laughs> if, I, if I wrote, please don't do this, then don't. Um, in fact, I'm going to cut that all together. <laughs> need to go with it. Oh, no, let's not do that. Let's do that next. Let's cut that. Rewind. Do, 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 do. Okay. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jess. Welcome. I'm currently in my pajamas. It is, uh, when I'm filming this, it's Friday. That's usually do my meal planning on Thursday or Friday. And I'm placing an order right now. I'm going to be placing an order for Instacart for Aldi and getting my groceries for the week. So um, every Monday I take you through how I do my meal plan, how it works, how much I spend. My budget is $150 a week. So let's try to keep to the budget. Um, and yeah, last week I was under. So this week I'm hoping to not be over <laughs> too much to compensate for the under. We'll see. So to usually what I do is I do what's called shelf cooking. Um, it's something I learned from Jordan Page uh, from Fun Cheap or Free. There's a lot of other YouTubers uh, that recommend doing it this way where you basically shop your pantry. But I'm not doing that this week. We've been kind of, well, wait, I say wait, I'm the one who's cooking. I've been kind of getting bored with the things that I'm making because I feel like I'm making the same things, repetitive, repetitive. And I really just wanted to open up a cookbook and just point to a few recipes and just try making those. So that's exactly what I'm doing. So what the first thing I did was I went to my book. Oh, I love this book. I cannot recommend this book enough. This book is fantastic. All the dishes I've made from here so far are amazing. I'm gonna link it down below. It's at my Amazon storefront. Definitely check it out. It's worth picking up. Even if you can get it like used. I buy, a lot of times I buy books like used. Um, from Amazon or a lot of items I'll buy used because you save you could save a few pennies that way and honestly if someone just wrote in the margins or dog-eared the pages who cares like it's the book is still good and uh, it's better I feel for the like environment and stuff but whatever so I went through the book <laughs> all of that to say <laughs> to get to where I'm going all of that to say I went through the book and I dog-eared some recipes that I wanted to try this week so we're gonna do a slow cooker cream cheese chicken that sounded really good. Um, I mean, cream cheese chicken with ranch and uh, hello. <laughs> Sounds delicious. A cheesy salsa chicken in the slow cooker, another winner. I'm probably gonna make that on Tuesday to do like a taco Tuesday kind of vibe. And a slow cooker pineapple chicken, which I believe I've made before. This recipe looked familiar and uh, I think I've made it from this book and if I did, it's so good so good so good i remember making it okay so we're gonna need to get the ingredients for those three and then also i go um around the internet like we all do on pinterest on food network on whatever and i find recipes sometimes people send them to me they'll send me a recipe they'll be like try this you gotta try it instead of just keeping everything on the internet or on the on a pinterest page or whatever just bookmarking pages i'll forget about the recipes so what i do is i print them out and I put them in a binder. As I test the recipes, if it's no good, I throw it out. And I say, all right, you know, you tried it, you don't like it. And if it is good, I keep it and I move it to a different part, into a section. So like chicken, fish, beef, whatever. Um, so I went through my binder and I decided to do three dishes that I've made before. This way, if the other stuff isn't, <laughs> we don't like it. There are some in there th throughout the week that will feel like wins because I know that they're good. So I'm going to make a Parmesan garlic spaghetti. Very good. I made it on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, you can head over there after this video. Don't stop watching. <laughs> head over there after the video and follow me. It's just the Feral Housewife. I'll put it right down here. And um, it's also, I'll tag, I'll put the link in the uh, description. So very easy, simple, delicious thing to make. A side dish of parmesan zucchini and corn my husband loved it it's made with lime it's so fresh i actually think that might be good with the chicken um because it's the lime so the the salsa chicken that sounds really good so maybe i'll make that as the side dish to go with the chicken yum um and the parmesan is not overpowering it's it's very subtle it just gives it that little like nutty flavor oh, i love parm i love parmesan um, and then pesto. 
So I've made it before. We have a pest, we have a basil, we have a pestle plant, I wish. We have a basil plant and uh, it's thriving and I, I don't want the leaves to start to brown. So we gotta start using some of the leaves, some of the you know, mature leaves. And I want to pluck those and I want to make some pesto. So maybe I'll do that with a uh, tortellini and I'll, but that's like pasta, 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 but who's complaining? Is that, who? It's my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna complain about eating pasta three times a week. Are you complaining? <laughs> I know it's not for everybody. Listen, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's your kitchen. You cook the way you like to eat, okay? So we do like pasta. Um, so I can make the pesto like a pasta salad. So that's five dishes right there. That should take us through the week. That should be no problem. Um, that gives us some room for leftovers or like a takeout night. Maybe a night where we're, we get invited somewhere. Fingers crossed, you know. <laughs> Might as over, why not? <laughs> then I don't have to cook. <laughs> um, so yeah, real talk. All right, so now I'm gonna go through each of these recipes. I'm gonna write down what I have to, what, what I'm gonna need, and I'll take you through that. So let's get started. Hey guys, so it is a few days, well not a few days, it's about a week before uh, the 4th of July and we're hosting some people here, which is going to be great. Um, so what I'm going to do is take you through the party planning process as far as the menu. So what I like to do is I like to break it down into categories. So I have my handy dandy notebook here <laughs> and if you want to grab a piece of paper and we can do this together. Um, that, that's fine. We could, that would be, that would be really cool actually. Let's plan our parties together. <laughs> Let's plan our menus together. All right. So what are our categories? So our categories are going to be appetizers. We have main, main course, sides, desserts, and drinks, beverages. Oh, we also have miscellaneous. So that's where we're gonna throw anything like uh, condiments. So for the 4th of July, we like to have everybody over. We have our immediate family over um, and we hang out outside. We, my husband will barbecue, we'll grill some stuff. Um, I like to have everything cold, cold dishes. I don't wanna have to heat anything up in my house. That is not something I wanna do. I wanna make things ahead of time, put them outside and just enjoy my company and enjoy, uh, you know, just enjoy the day. I want to have a drink. I want to laugh and and just have fun and celebrate. I have a I have a co-host today. He's eating some uh, Cheerios right now, <laughs> so you're gonna hear him. All right. So we've got our list. So again, we've got our list here: appetizers, main courses, sides, desserts, beverages, and the miscellaneous and condiments stuff like that. So let's go down, let's start from appetizers. So what are some things that you like to have to snack on when people get to your house? So I just, I think all I'm going to do, I'm gonna do chips with dip, with French onion dip. I'll do salsa, I'll do chips with salsa and guacamole. Is there anything else I wanna have out just for people to snack on? Uh, pretzels, pretzels are a hit. If I'm missing anything, let me know below. You could chime in. What are some things? Let me know below what your menu is. Uh, leave it in the comments. So I'm gonna leave, I also have space, so we can circle back if I remember anything. So for the main course, what we're gonna have is my husband is going to smoke a pork shoulder. We're also going to have hot dogs, hamburgers, um, hot dogs, hamburgers, and he's going to 
make uh, jalapeno poppers on, he's going to smoke them, but that's a side. That's like a little snacky snack. So I'm going to put that on the sides, jalapeno poppers. Okay, so you want to think of who's coming and what they like to eat. Um, because you want to make sure, like, if you have a vegetarian person, you want to make sure you have options for them. If you have somebody who you know doesn't eat red meat, you don't want to only have hot dogs. You don't want to only have um, hamburgers or hot dogs, you know, because we, we eat beef, uh, Frank. So <clears throat> you don't want to only just have what you like because you have to think of your company. So um, I'm also going, so we have pork. So we've got the pork covered. We've got hot dogs and hamburgers. That's a crowd pleaser. So let's do some sort of chicken. So what the easiest thing to do is the grill's already going to be on for the hot dogs and hamburgers so let's just throw some chicken chicken cutlets on the grill chicken breast on the grill and there you go so anybody who's maybe eating a little healthier um they've got an option there you could also do something like turkey burgers i know my company won't really eat them so i'm not going to waste the money but that's a good option veggie burgers are great um, salmon burgers, I know people really love that. Well, you get, you know, you can buy them in the frozen section. You probably even make them look on Pinterest for a recipe. That would be really good. So I think that's pretty good as far as the main, you know, the main, main courses. So for the sides, we're going to do jalapeno poppers. We're going to do macaroni salad, classic macaroni salad. Um, what else? So we need some sort of like vegetable. So are we going to do... Oh, let's do, let's do corn. Let's do fresh corn. Fresh corn in the summer, it's so good. And actually, we're not gonna grill it because it takes too long. What I'll do is I'll throw it in my Instant Pot and I believe it takes like five minutes in the Instant Pot, so that's even better. I could throw it on, I could make them ahead of time, I can just keep them warm in the Instant Pot or just keep them covered and boom, done, delicious. All right, so we've got macaroni salad. Let's do some sort of, let's do another pasta. So let's do a Greek, let's do a Greek salad with cucumbers and tomatoes and olives, oh, feta. I think that will be really good. It's nice and fresh and light and it will go really well with the pork and it will go well with the chicken. That sounds really good. So yeah, we're definitely gonna do that. So we've got a Greek salad, fresh corn, macaroni salad and jalapeno poppers. For the amount of people, I'm only having like, I'm having like 10 people, so <laughs> I think that's plenty of food. So we've got our sides. So let's go to our, let's go to our desserts. In Pinterest, I found a recipe for this like s'mores in a casserole dish kind of thing. So what you do is you take chocolate chips, put them on the bottom, and then you take marshmallows, you dip them in water and then sprinkles and you make it look like an American flag. And uh, then you put that in the oven and you warm it so that the marshmallow gets nice and ooey gooey. And then you take graham crackers and you dip it in and you scoop. So I think I'm going to do that because it's fun. Um, so let's do a s'mores. I'm going to call it a s'mores casserole. Um, what else for dessert? So we need, we need melon. So let's try to get a watermelon. Because, oh gosh, our watermelons, when they're fresh... Nice fresh summer watermelon, so good, so good. S'mores watermelon. Ah, we have a we have a birthday, so let's do a birthday cake, chocolate chocolate. I might actually buy one, this way I don't have to make the cake. But we'll have cake. We'll have a chocolate chocolate cake, the watermelon, the s'mores. That's a lot of chocolate. What's uh? So the watermelon, maybe like one more like oh ice pops. Those freezer pops, you know the tubes. Kids love those, and so do adults. So let's do the freezy pops. They're nice and fresh, and then plus people, I can throw them in the cooler, and people can eat them all day long. I'll freeze them, put, throw them in the cooler, and then as it's very hot, if somebody wants a pop, they can take one. Okay, beverages. So we need wine. We need soda. We're going to need regular and diet. I also like to get... Um, a bottle of ginger ale just in case someone's stomach is a little upset so this way they have an option to have something like you know to settle their stomach a little bit while they're here beer um and then a signature drink i like to do like one signature drink that i will provide and then i ask people you know if you want something in particular they can bring it um 
this that could be like if people because people will always say what can I bring what can I bring and I've just been telling people just bring what you like to drink because I don't know what everybody's tastes are and then if I go and I buy you know a, a, a case of of some beer that someone likes and they drink one of it now I'm stuck with all this beer that I'm not going to drink so um I'll provide beer but I'm not going to provide like every single beer I'll provide like a widely loved one like Bud Light or Coronas something like that <clears throat> and the wine, I'll do um, white and blush or rosé because that's mine. <laughs> that's my go-to wine. I love, I love rosé. All right, wine, soda, beer, and then a signature cocktail, which will be the an iced tea lemonade. Okay, so I don't know if you ever had this, but I highly recommend it. It is called Firefly Sweet Tea Flavored Vodka. And you mix that with lemonade over ice, it's so good. It's delicious. So I'm going to make that because it's a big batch drink I can make that I can just put out and people can take it and it's done. So that's good for beverages. Okay, so now we're at miscellaneous and condiments. So let's go through our list and see what we need to accompany each dish, right? So let's go start at the top. Appetizers, chips and French onion dip. We don't need anything extra. Chips with salsa and guacamole. We don't need anything extra. Pretzels, we don't need anything extra. So we're good. So let's move on to meats. Pork shoulder. Okay, I'm going to need barbecue sauce. Because we're going to shred it. It's going to be shredded pork. And I'm going to need rolls. I'm going to need... Um, let's get the Hawaiian rolls. For the, for the sliders. So good. Okay. Hot dogs and hamburgers. We're going to need hot dog rolls. And hamburger rolls. And what else do we need for hot dog and hamburgers? We need ketchup. We need mustard. And I know that a lot of people don't like either or or whatever, and that's okay. But <laughs> you got to please the group. So we'll make sure we have ketchup and mustard to go with the hot dogs and hamburgers. Let's also get a tomato to slice for the hot, for the uh, hamburgers. The chicken breasts, um, I'm not sure how I'm going to marinate them yet. Um, you know what, mm, I might just use the barbecue sauce, this way I can just use it in two ways, and then I don't have to waste the bottle. I'll just use the bottle for the chicken breast, and I'll use it for the pork. Very good. The sides, the jalapeno poppers, I don't need anything to accompany it. Macaroni salad, fresh corn, Greek salad, no, we're good. All right, desserts, the s'mores casserole, watermelon, birthday cake, and freezy pops. All right, beverages, wine soda, beer. For the beer, um, let's get some limes for the Coronas. The iced tea lemonade, we don't need anything extra for that. And am I missing anything? Am I missing anything? So let's think here. All right, so we're going to need plates, napkins, cutlery, cups, right? What else do we need? Am I missing anything? We're doing this together, right? We're planning our parties together. So you tell me. Am I missing something? I don't think so. I think that's everything. Um, oh, you know what I wanted to make as part of the beverages? I wanted to make um, jello shots, but I don't want to put them in shot glasses. I want to make a boozy jello in a bowl, <laughs> and then we could just take it and scoop it, put it in a cup, and eat it. And uh, there's not really going to be any kids here. Like, there are a couple, there are my kids, but my kids won't touch anything. Um, they certainly won't eat jello, and so I think it's okay. It's going to be all adults, and that sounds really good. So I'll make a boozy jello bowl. <laughs> boozy. Okay, and that's it, you guys. Ice, ice. That's another thing. People say, "What can I bring? Bring a bag of ice." <laughs> <laughs> you can always use ice. All right, so there we have it. Um, we have our appetizers, our main course, our sides, our desserts, beverages, and the miscellaneous. Um, how much is this going to cost? I don't know. Um, I'd like to keep it at less than 200 for a party. I don't know, though. We'll see. Leave a comment below. What did I miss? Leave me a comment below. What are you having? Maybe there's something good on there that I want to steal. I want to steal the idea. <laughs> So I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this, and have a great day. Like and subscribe.
as usual. All right, bye guys. See ya.